excited for this coffee. Oh my god, look at it. It's a gingerbread latte. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's vlog style video is going to be ever slightly different to a stereotypical weekly vlog, which I'll get into more in a minute, but I just wanted to firstly thank Squarespace for very kindly sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence in your style and run your business from. So if you're looking to start up your own website, whether it be a blog or whether you have products to sell or anything like that then be sure to check out the link in the description box which I have left for you along with a discount code to get 10% off your first purchase so today's vlog style video I've just washed my hair so I've not dyed it brunette it always looks a bit darker when it's a bit wet so excuse that today's video is going to be a day in the lifestyle vlog it was really hard to capture what I do in one day because every day is different I'd say the majority of my days are actually at home I'd say 50 to 75 percent of my working week is spent at home so what I've done is vlogged an out and about day in Manchester where I started the morning with some some housework, went to the gym, ran some errands like going to the post office and stuff and then headed on into Manchester for a blogging event. In fact let me just pause this and remind you guys to go grab yourselves a coffee as well because it's a bit of a chatty intro and this first half or not even half of the video just this first section I wanted to kind of give you an overview as to what a typical day at home would include uh, before I get into the out and about vlog style footage for an out and about day so make sure you've lit your candles I actually have one burning over there and make sure you grab yourselves a nice cozy drink get comfy I also thought I would include in the Manchester out and about footage some shopping because let's face it the majority of my channel is based around shopping and I popped into Zara I needed to return something so whilst I was there I showed you guys around showed you what's new in for autumn winter I think I popped into and other stories as well so you'll see a bit of vlog footage of that the lighting let me just try the sun's like in and out typical autumnal weather which I'm feeling so today a typical at-home day what does it involve what is my normal go-to routine first and foremost is if I can and if I'm motivated enough well I will try and fit in some kind of a workout so I have been to the gym this morning but I've got home washed my hair made myself a coffee sat down done some work got into my comfies because if I'm working from home why not be comfortable and in fact I'll show you where these are from this jogger pant thing which is so comfortable and super super soft is Primark I think I featured it in my latest Primark haul so we'll leave it linked if you missed it and then this top is actually thrifted but originally the white company so again it feels super soft and I love the white company oh this time of the year is perfect for a shopping white company so if you're a white company fan then you'll appreciate that finding a thrifted white company top which is virtually brand new was a win I'm thinking about doing some autumnal thrifting what do you guys think so my at home days which like I said is probably like half of the time if not more is spent either filming or editing which let me tell you filming can take a long time and editing even longer and then the other side to it is more the admin side like emails which I just do on a daily basis and always keep up to date with my emails um, taxes invoicing receipts all that kind of jazz which anyone self-employed will understand and most recently a typical at-home day will also include updating my website so as you guys may or may not be aware I do have a blog or did it's currently down at the minute just during the process of me updating it and changing it up a little bit so I like the idea of having my own website in order to house everything so it's about me it's ways to contact me which is great for brands or you guys if you want to reach out all my social media platforms are linked on there and it allows me to blog which is great for SEO optimization in terms of creating content that brings people to my platforms and also just being able to write about stuff that I love which is usually related to fashion beauty lifestyle and home I don't know if home is classed as lifestyle lifestyle I always think more of like traveling vlogging out and about 
but home is actually one of my favorite categories so if it comes under lifestyle it does if it doesn't then it's its own separate category of which actually on my website that I am creating with Squarespace I have created a sort of separate tab to um, kind of detail the home section as well because I do think it's an important part of what I do and it's one of my favorite parts like I said so I now have my own home Instagram account as well which I've had for a while now which I love posting daily updates on so yeah it was important for me to have a fashion beauty lifestyle and home tab as well as the about me contact and potentially shop as well and then another sort of side to a typical day in the life at home is being in to receive blogger mail blogger mail is amazing it's honestly one of the biggest perks of the job to receive products from brands that you love or new brands to allow you to try them out before purchasing and then share them with you guys as well it is so it's amazing I'm so so grateful for all of that I actually do have a couple of bits that I have new in that I'm going to show you in a second but just back to Squarespace I personally have obviously been using it as a blog but if you have a portfolio that you're wanting to update and upload perhaps you're a photographer videographer maybe even do interior design and you want an online presence then Squarespace is also great for that they have so many different templates for you to choose from and obviously they have the shop as well so if you're looking to start your own business selling things then they have an e-commerce type section as well which allows you to sell products on your own website so it's definitely worth checking out if it is something that you're thinking about venturing into there is no harm in clicking the link in the description and starting a free trial with them so if you just want to test the waters and try it out try the free trial and then if you do want to go ahead and purchase the website the template and carry on designing your website and actually publishing it making it go live with your own url and all that kind of jazz then i do also have a discount code for you to use should you wish it gets you 10 percent off your first purchase so make sure to take advantage of that and best of luck to anyone who is looking to start their own website so on to a little bit of blog mail that i've got first of all a beauty glossy box this is their september box i know they sold out of the last one very very quickly i think it was their birthday month though so i don't know if that had anything to do with it but i um i actually worked with them the previous two months so this is gifted this is no obligation to post or anything but i wanted to share it with you guys anyway because there was an extra little treat which i've actually already had aka chocolate if you saw my instagram stories i did a quick unboxing of this so let me just show you this to give you a brief overview of what's in the box and there's also a little sneak peek here into october's box it has a charcoal toothpaste some makeup by may this is a setting powder we have a little perfume from mitchell and peach a cute little hand gel from Carex, some Palmer's coconut oil formula, deep conditioning protein pack for your hair. And then lastly, some original black tea body scrub. Thank you so much to Glossybox for sending me that. I just wanted to show you a couple of clothing items as well I've received recently that I've yet to sort of show you guys. So Lovies is a brand that I've absolutely loved for ages and I think that they have some real key pieces on their website. So. This is a black jumper of which I have the cream version already and have worn it so, so much. It's in a medium and it retails for £36. It's almost sheer, this top. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera. But I quite like the fact that I could wear this maybe with a little white bralette underneath and it's a nice peachy tone. That was in a large. This one I got in a medium and it's just a typical basic high neck ribbed white top which has quite nice open sleeves and then i also got some bits from princess polly i'll just show you a couple because i did an unboxing over on my instagram highlights on my instagram fashion account for a fountain one so these i have to show you these because they're super autumnal this is a cozy knit jumper it's that chenille fabric so it's so soft i did size up to a medium and large because i love my jumpers to be as oversized as possible and i think that was the biggest size they did so this is called the clara jumper in a cream 
in love. And then this other one I wanted to show you, I have actually already worn styled up over on my Instagram. And it is, again, another cozy knit jumper. This one is slightly cropped. It's got a beautiful cable knit design and it's nice long sleeves. You know when you get a sleeve that's super long and you can get cozy? That is a thumbs up from me. So I picked this up in a 12, again, sized up one size. And it's quite boxy and a nice cropped length to wear with high-waisted jeans and just tuck in slightly if needs be. So yeah, that is everything that I want to show you in terms of blogger mail. I feel like we've had a very chatty intro now. I hope you're ready for the rest of this vlog. Give me a thumbs up if you are excited for all the autumnal content yet to come I have plenty more to come but if you do want anything else in particular in terms of autumn winter seasonal type videos just pop them in the comments below and I will add it to my schedule I might even have to go up to three uploads a week because I have so much so much ideas so many ideas of creating content for you guys which I can't wait for so sit back relax enjoy the rest of this vlog and thank you so much for watching let's get on to the typical day in my life out and about side to the vlog. So I'm just got a parcel to run to the post office, which is a giveaway winner. Then um, I'm gonna go to the gym, hence gym attire. But whilst I'm out, I need to sort out this area situation here in this drawer. And we've decided, or I've kind of decided with Tom's approval, <laughs> that all the box sets we're gonna keep as they are, but this just is a lot of space wasting and you don't really get much money for DVDs and these are all our favourites. If you saw my cash converters vlog where I uh, sold a load of DVDs and so these are the ones that we really are probably just going to keep forever to be completely honest with you. So I want to get one of those cases that you can remove them from the box and store them. Yes I'll probably do it alphabetically because I'm a bit OCD like that. Whilst I am out at the gym it is right next to Poundland, Asda, B&M. So I'm hoping that one of those stores will have one of those or some of those cases but if not I can order some off Amazon. So that's the plan for this morning and yeah, first of all, post office, then gym time and also I need to fill up with fuel. a while later and I'm now back at home I'm just about to plan my outfits when I had a delivery arrive from UPS and this is from a brand which I've been so excited to try out it's called AYM and I might even incorporate some of their items into uh, some outfits to shoot today whilst I'm in Manchester with Lydia I need to shower and wash my hair desperately oh. da -da -da. 
they did reach out to me and wanted to give me some items but i do think they are custom made let me get some scissors so they did take a little longer than most brands to arrive from putting the order in this is the first box you guys know i love good packaging especially handmade for you by mel thanks mel okay so the first item that i got is a dress it's like double lined um midi dress but it's quite figure hugging if you can see it's got some seams down the front which i think is very slimming another item in this box is this and i believe this is a skirt like a long midaxi i'm gonna say skirt and this is what it looks like just plain and simple again it's double lines color scheme you can see i've gone for all white things because i wanted to just really try out each and every individual item and especially with white i feel like that's the real tester when it comes to quality so this top um thinking most of these were just like high-waisted jeans so or actually the tube skirt so this is the first top that i got i got everything in a medium as well by the way and this has like a nice zip front and then the next top that i got is simply like an asymmetric one shoulder type crop top love these kind of tops with a tan especially and then oh this is a different fabric this is more of like a cotton wow this is really nice fabric i love this one just a very basic little tee i'm definitely going to try and work this into an outfit for shooting today so if you want to see how this is styled up head over to my instagram forever until one and then next up again in that same fabric is this little high neck semi crop top i say semi crop because actually by the time i've got high waisted jeans on there's only sort of like a little pop of midriff on on out this is slightly different fabric but still really nice and this is again that same crop length but this is more of a racer back basic probably next see you guys when i'm heading off into manchester <laughs> Did you hear those guys whistle? Oh, that was awkward. Oh, this car park's so tight. Ooh, at least this car is quite small, but I used to have, used to drive a much bigger car. <laughs> it was a Ranger of a Sport, and it was, oh my god, it was Tom's car, and it was, I used to hate driving it in multi stories. Okay, it said car park full and there are loads of spaces, which is great news. I'll have to let Lydia know because she'll be fretting that there won't be any spaces. Right, so I'm going to park up. The weather is looking a little dubious. It was raining en route, which isn't great. So I'm going to go to Zara now until Lydia gets here. Then I'll meet up with her and I'll probably see you guys again when I'm in Zara. Zara. But it's definitely, uh, the rain's making me feel more autumnal. Smoke through my 
this gets me so excited for autumn all the like cozy knit jumpers matching skirts if you're after some cute midi heels they have these perfect ones in sale from 40 down to 20. Um, I quite like the wooden heel on them actually I'm just gonna have a quick look across the road and other stories I really want to see their rings I kind of want to add to my ring collection I love this sort of like towel fabric um, and other stories is kind of pricey but I do absolutely love their stuff this is some of their new in oh is that a midi skirt yeah love it also love this jumper I feel like it could be a good staple love the high neck and that color is me basically okay rings i'll only ever go for gold these ones are 13 a plain and simple like bar um or they have like layered tiered ones i love these i have these in silver and gold i think i want a chunky one like this 17. City that's looking fun. I also think one day I'd like a lot of their bath and sort of like bathroom products because I think the aesthetic of them is really really nice it reminds me of Muji that's another one that I really like um, cute little perfumes all their hand lotions and hand soaps are so nice and their candles actually see how nice is that I actually like these little cloches um, $3.99 in TK Maxx I found these for I'm actually seeing a lot of snake print, so maybe this sort of snake print is being carried through to autumn. I know we had a lot of like leopard print and animal print throughout spring and summer, uh, but I quite like it. Like these boots, they're such a statement with just a plain white dress. And I think they'd be nice in the sort of transitional season too. There she is. Hiya. You are twin boots. This is the reality. Unsure on the headband. I'm trying to make I'm it not. work. I like it, but I just, just keep it on and then you can always take it up. Yeah, it just doesn't sit right on my yeah, hair. Prime up, prime up. Look at all this beige sail, Lydia and a bit of lemon in there. Actually, um, I'm heading over to the event now via m and Yeah, I'm excited, we're both hungry though. We're a bit like lightheaded. And... You don't look horrendous. Or tell her she looks lovely. Yes, <laughs> Give her a bit of confidence. You bring eyeliner on? Oh, that kind of eyeliner. I thought you meant like liquid eyeliner. Um, so yeah, that is what we are doing. I feel quite dressy because I'm in a dress and heels. But we are ready for food. Here's your next vlogging equipment, Lydia. 24-7 photographer. I bet they're laughing at my Little G7X. Little G7X. <laughs> oh, someone's, oh, someone's getting a ticket. I was going to say they're getting a clamp. Oh, how about that? They're getting a clamp? Yeah. Oh dear. I know. Oh look, they've got one of those Google vehicles with the camera on top. <laughs> Is that what he rocked up in? Ah, maybe. It's hot, it's hot today. It's like humid and sticky. Say it again, say it again. You're saying you're sorry, so say it again. Black. Say you love me, then you 
To the car. Power walk in here. Calm down. We've got plenty of time, Lydia. <laughs> We're out with our goodies. I hope it's you... actually really nice. <laughs> Excuse you. It's actually really nice. <laughs> actually really nice evening. Should we just go down here? Yeah. Um, it's yes, nice it's lukewarm. Out. But it's fresh. Like, you know when you're on holiday and you yes. out and you get that mm. humidish. 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 That's a new word for you. Oh look, That's someone's thrown me. some flowers. It's like a bunch of flowers that they've thrown on the floor. So we had a lovely time. Thank you so much to Rodial and Look Fantastic for having us. This is the box that they have collaborated on together. Full of vitamin C products. Great for giving your skin a drink. So I'm gonna use these tonight whilst I take off my makeup. I'm gonna get into bed. I'm gonna end off this week's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. Lydia's on a mission and um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Bye. Mwah. Bye.